Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Power Platform administration piece and how we can uh, better manage our Power Platform using COE Starter Kit. So as you can see, I have just logged into my admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and you can very well go to this page using our uh, one of the link which is there in make.powerapps.com you can just simply go to the gear icon click on the admin center if you are a power platform administrator or global administrator then you would be able to access this admin center and in this admin center we have like uh, multiple capabilities where we can just manage our environment in an effective way so we have environments so probably if you are familiar that what are environments and how the environments can be created and why we actually use environments then this is the area where we can create new environments if i click on new it allows me to create a new environment and the type of environment are stand alone or stand box trial production and these are the environment so from the administration perspective if you wish to manage like who all users can manage the environment then you have to probably go to your so if i click on this gear icon and power platform settings so it gives me an area where i can specify who all are allowed to create environments so if who can create production sandbox environment so right now it's everyone for my uh, this tenant i can just control that with the specific teams of specific people so this sort of uh, control i can have like who all can create environments and beneath that i have this analytics related to dataverse power automation power apps like everything analytics are related i'll be able to see over here and resources under resources we can specify the capacity we can decide over the capacity what is being used and uh, how the capacity is being uh, divided into dataverse microsoft teams add-on and trial and we have the uh, administration for portals as well over here so right now I would not be going into detail of all these areas because my focus is to make you familiar about the COE starter kit. So which is a starter kit actually created by Microsoft to ease out the management of our power platform and how it actually ease out like it actually divides uh, our governance administration piece into four pieces. So if I just go to overview of this power platform center of excellence kit, you would able to see that the administration is being divided into four areas overview so how uh, we can actually decide what should be the goals of our environment is and the administration piece and this is piece like how the auditing how the user is interacting with our environment so microsoft gives uh, this ue starter uh, kit actually has uh, multiple tools and apps which gives us insight about like how our environment is interacting or behaving and governance we can decide like what audit and compliance process should be what dlp processes or the policies we should be complying so this coe starter kit is very useful to define those uh, inbuilt out of the box strategies for dlp and the other audit processes and the last is nurture that means like how we can uh, increase the adoption of power platform within our uh, company or organization where we can specify like what uh, people should be aligned with the power maker group and how whenever whenever a person is uh, would like to onboard with power platform then he should be getting a welcome email so th that sort of flows and apps has been created under the net nurture section so basically this power platform coe kit is a best starting point where you can define like how your environment should be interacting how it behaves where you can simply visualize what is being there in your environment so the objective of this video is to just uh, make you familiar with this center of excellence kit and how you can start working with this center of excellence kit. So over here I'm in docmicrosoft.com where I'm uh, into this power platform center of excellence kit where I can just scroll down to understand more about it and under the setup part where I can just click get started with setup of starter kit. So I can simply go down and I need to find out the solution this starter kit is is a link so that will actually download all the solutions so if I just open up my starter kit so I just go to my this uh, starter kit zip file so this is a zip file which will be downloaded so you can see like there are multiple uh, sub zips where we have this ALM accelerator center of excellence ALM ex uh, accelerator audit components these are individual solutions so these solutions has to be imported into our uh, power app where 
uh, we would be actually uh, extracting this solution and those solution would be having multiple components kind of canvas apps multiple environment variables and multiple flows so that actually take care of what we are intended to with our coe kit so let's go back to our power platform so i'll just simply go to make.powerapps.com to import the coe kit so i'll just go to solution and under this solution i'll be just starting with importing solution so if i can browse it to my library where i have just extracted this coe starter kit and under this i have multiple zips and these are solutions and i'll just pick one of the core component solutions so these are the additional extensions so i'll just pick the core component so that i can just import that piece so it takes a while to get imported so after it imported uh, we would able to see that there are multiple canvas apps created there are multiple flows are being created so while importing uh, the first screen is like it will ask for the connection so if you are already having this connection uh, for you created for these connectors the required connectors then probably you can just simply the connect select the connection the person who is running so it could be service account or your account and where it's not selected then you simply need to tie it up with your account and just scroll down just see whatever connections are not set we can just simply set that you can see like we have multiple connectors coe database coe data wars and power platform admin because this connector would require to interact with applications and there would be connector for power automate admin and when i say next it will prompt me the fill out to the environment variable so i can leave that as blank but uh, a bit of stuff can be specified for example this power automate variable so which is actually so early right now it's just a common string but earlier it used to be like uh, uh, for india location it's in dot flow dot microsoft dot com for us it's us dot flow dot microsoft dot com so earlier we, to, we used to specify but right now we can skip it because it's generic now and the url is being changing uh, soon make dot power automate dot com that would be generic irrespective of your region so all the rest of the stuff you can skip as of now because community uh, url individual admins we can just skip and start importing it so it takes a while to get uh, this solution import 5 to 6 minutes uh, we'll just pause this video so the solution is successfully imported if i click on the solution and if we look at the artifact of the solution you can see we have multiple canvas app cloud flows over here we can see 11 apps and if i just click on cloud flows there are 66 cloud flows and related to administration so there are multiple there are few sync flows and few clean up flows and these uh, flows are actually dependent on each other so some are uh, the the main flow is the sync template flow and few of them are sub flows for this template flow so there is a sequence we have to activate this turn on these flows so right now you can see on the status these are turned off so one by one uh, we have to turn them on so few of them are on and uh, so let's start doing it so as as soon as you turn these flows on and if you go to your apps and will try to run any of the apps so let's say so we can turn we can start like uh, running this app so app catalog so once this uh, flows the behind the scene flows gets run uh, successfully then after that we'll start looking at these uh, apps and i'll just say allow allow the connection then i'll see all the apps which is there in my this environment current environment will be listed over here i can simply set it like featured apps search for apps and the same way like we have multiple apps <clears throat> so right now because it takes a while to run these back, uh, behind the scene uh, flows but once these are there then these apps would give you a nice way to see like what apps are there how uh, you can directly add owners to the apps and uh, there there are multiple things we can directly do with this using these canvas apps so probably like it's a it's a starter way like where you can just start building on the coe kit and if you wish to advance you used to change the apps then you can simply go to your apps so because these are managed environment if you see managed environment you can go to your default solution and try editing this app if you wish to change something over here so that's how like we can start uh, using this center of excellence starter kit 
and uh, going forward like i'll just uh, make another video how to create the custom themes using this coe kit so that would be my next video and just wait for that so that's it for today thank you